Om Sri Sai Ram children. How are you all? I hope you all are fit and fine. Sai Ram ma'am. Yes ma'am, we all are fine. Very good. Very nice to hear that children. So are you ready for today's class? Yes ma'am. Okay. So hope you are enjoying the videos and practicing it at home. Yes? Yes ma'am, we are practicing. Very good. Very nice. Okay, so we'll begin our class with three Omkarams. Please join your hands, sit straight. Oh. Oh. Sidearm children. So see, as we were discussing chapter 7, measurement, and we have seen different types of uh, measuring units and uh, being scale also, we compare different objects. Today, we'll do some uh, exercise on worksheets based on whatever we have learned in this lesson, right? So we'll do a revision kind of thing, whatever we have discussed already in this lesson. So for that, let me present my screen first. Has the screen come, children? Yes, ma'am. I can see. Very good. Okay. So we'll start. Yes. So we have done taller, shorter, right? So we'll do this first. And we know uh, any object which has great height or more height, that will be taller. It will be tall and which, which has less height or Ki height kam hogi, that will be short or we can say shorter if we are comparing two objects, right? So here, what you have to do here, children, which is taller, which is taller. You can see these are two buildings and here there is a house. So you have to compare among these two buildings or house. Which one is taller? Can you tell me? And the building is taller. The building is taller. Very good. Yes. So we'll take the building right like this now here children we have which is shorter so you can see two flags here so which has less height which will be shorter ma'am the second flag the second flag so this will be shorter very good okay now you can see here, which is taller. You have two animals. This is who? Which animal is this? Giraffe. Giraffe. And this one is? Hippopotamus. OK, very good. Hippopotamus. So which is taller, children? I'm giraffe. Giraffe. You can see it easily and tell. Yes, giraffe is having more height, so it will be taller. Which is shorter? So we have a tree and a grass kind of thing, or maybe a plant. So which is shorter, which has less height? Second one is short. Second one is shorter. Which is shorter here? You can see two, one bottle and one small jar. Pebbles are there inside. So shorter means less height. Yes. And the jar the jar very good so we'll take this jar now we have two candles here children which is taller so which has more height ma'am the white color candle this one very good the white one so it is taller so i hope you have understood this concept taller and shorter and tall and short right yes any doubt you have in this no ma'am very good. So we'll move ahead. Here we have which is tallest. So again, we are comparing among three animals or three 
objects or three images we can say so here we have three giraffes and you can easily tell me which one is tallest which is having more height greatest height ma'am the left side one yes so this one first one yes ma'am first one very good so we'll take this very good now we have three trees now you tell me which is tallest ma'am the third one on the right third side one. very good this one right yes yes, yes ma'am yes now we have here three boys so who is tallest among them sabse zyada tall kaun sa hai ma'am the third boy the third boy right this one so you must be having uh, any tallest boy in your class do you know the name this activity also you can do in your class also children whenever we we'll meet in the school you can see after three four months you must have become taller right those who are eating and uh, having good food fruits vegetable milk everything they are, they are taking good meals so they'll become more tall, taller and stronger yes or no yes so ma'am who has become the tallest one among girls among boys right this will do that yes now we have children here uh, this is an image of building i think so we'll compare and we'll see which is tallest one ma'am the second one very good this one right yes so this is the tallest one now we have three ladders here so which is tallest ma'am the second one middle one Middle. Very good. Now again we have flags. We have to find out which is tallest. Uh, ma'am, the first one. The first one. Very good. See, you have given all the answers correctly, and I know all the children, those who are watching this video before listening the answer, they can give the answers correctly. They are giving exactly right. Yes, ma'am. Very good. Well done. So a big clap for all of you, children. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Yes. now we'll move ahead and we'll see big versus small so this we started in the beginning of this lesson bigger and smaller okay and this is very easy i know you have understood it we have done worksheet but again we are revising it today okay for your practice so here children you can see we have two two objects in this picture and the question is written so which is bigger you can see these two balls and you can compare and tell bigger who is having bigger size Ma'am, the first ball. The first ball, right? So we we'll, we are going to take the first ball, okay? Yes, ma'am. Very good. Now, next we have apples, red apple and green apple. Have you seen green apple, children? Yes, ma'am. I yes. have. Yes. Yeah, very good. That is very healthy, right? Both are healthy, but yes, this is having more nutritional value. Okay, so which is smaller? You can see them and tell me. Smaller means, tell me what does it mean? Ma'am, chota hai. Chota hai. Um, the second one, green apple is smaller, ma'am. Yes, so we'll take this right now. Yes. Which is smaller among these two jars, children? Ma'am, the first one. Yes, very good. The first one, smaller. I'm asking. Which is smaller, ma'am? Which one, ma'am? Cycle. No, this jar we have. Can you see these two jars? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, smaller ah. one. Second one yes. is smaller. Yes, second one is smaller. ये छोटा है. It has small size. Yes. Now, which is bigger cycle? You can see these two cycle and tell me which is bigger one. Ma'am, the first one. The first one. Very good. Okay. Now we have. Two moons here. Which is smaller, ma'am? The second one. The second one. Very good. Now, which is bigger, lamp? Uh, lamp. You know, you have seen the pictures of lamp. You must yes, be having some of you yes, at home. Yes, right? ma'am. Okay. So, which gives us light, right? Especially yes, this for studying purpose. when we are doing and others other members are taking rest so when we do not use the bulb or the tube lights we use the lamp right yes ma'am 
Yes. So which is the bigger one? Ma'am, the first one. First one. Yes, very good. See, you have understood it and you have given all the answers correctly. A big clap for you, children. Thank you, ma'am. Yes. So now I will show you uh, some questions from one minute. Tata Edge. Okay. So we'll move there. And we'll see what. Worksheet is there and one video is also there on all these topics which we have done, revised. Just a minute, it is taking a minute. We have one or two worksheets yeah. there. And videos also we have. So let's see it. I open it again. I yes, yes. So longer, shorter we have done. Now we'll see this one. Thicker and thinner, and thickest and thinner. So again, we can see this worksheet is there. Can you see the Tata Edge worksheet, children? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So the you can read this, the lion and the mouse. And what is the topic? Comparing objects. Right? We have to compare objects. Yes, ma'am. So here, this is a story of mouse and lion, right? So yes, ma'am. telling the story. Once upon a time in a jungle, there lived a big lion. Okay, can you see this lion? Can you see it? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes. One day he was resting under a tree. Okay, so the lion was resting under under a tree. A small mouse ran over the lion's head and the, and down his nose. This woke up the big lion. He got very angry. So lion kya kar raha tha? He was taking rest. Maybe he was dozing or sleeping. Okay, it is not mentioned, but he was taking rest. Okay, so one small mouse came and he ran over the lion's head. Kaha chad gaya wo? Lion ki head ke upar. Or phir uski niche, nose ke niche. So aisa karte karte kya hua? Lion woke up, jag gaya. And he got very angry because he was taking rest and somebody is disturbing, disturbing without asking, right? So the lion caught the small mouse, mouse in his strong paw. Usne apne panjo mein paw means panjo mein usko pakar liya. The small mouse cried out, "Please let me go. One day I shall pay back for your kindness." So mouse ne kya bola? Please, mujhe jaane do. He started crying because he got scared. Aaj to lion mujhe maari dalega. And he said, please let me go. Mujhe jaane do. And if you will do this, if you will show this kindness to me, I'll pay for it. Means, मैं आपको कभी न कभी इसके बदले में आपकी कभी न कभी कोई help करूँगा. Is kindness. Kindness means आपके इस दयालुपन के कारण. जो आप मुझ पे दिखाएँगे, मुझ पे जो दया करेंगे. So this made the lion laugh. And start lion started laughing. Ha ha ha! How could a tiny animal like you ever do anything to help me? Why he started laughing? Because he thought I am a big lion. I am the king of a jungle, and this tiny small mouse. How he is going to help me? कैसे करेगा ये मेरी मदद? He let the little mouse run away. और उसने उसे जाने दिया mouse को. A few days later, the mouse was passing through the jungle. He saw the same lion trapped in a net. Or after कुछ दिनों के बाद क्या हुआ? जब वहाँ से माउस जा रहा था, तब उसने क्या देखा कि लायन जो है same लायन वो एक नेट में फंसा हुआ, एक जाल में फंसा हुआ है, trapped है उसमें. तो फिर उसने क्या किया होगा? आप सोच सकते हो क्या? कि कैसे help करेगा वो? 
can you tell me the rest story though it is there but can you guess something ma'am usne apne baaton se jaal ko kaat diya yes i know very good you must have heard this story before even so fir uske aapko pata hai mouse ke teeth kitne strong hote hain na sharp hote hain तो उसने अपने टीथ से सारे जाल को काट दिया और वो लायन उससे बाहर आ गया द लिटिल माउस रिमेम्बर्ड हिज प्रोमिस टू हेल्प ही रैन टू द बिग लायन द टाइनी लिटिल माउस कट द रोब्स ऑफ द नेट द लायन थैंक द माउस एंड सेड यू हेल्प मी इवन दो आई एम बिग एंड यू आर स्मॉल सो वॉट इज द मॉरल ऑफ द स्टोरी चिल्ड्रेन never look down on any one because of their size we should not feel if any one is smaller in size so he is not able unable to help matlab agar koi bahut bada dikhne mein size uska bahut huge hai big hai to aap ye mat sochu ki ha ye sabki help kar sakta hai aur agar koi bahut chota hai tiny hai to aap ye nahi soch sakte keh sakte ki ye kisi ki help nahi kar payega right so never go don't look at the size of any animal or any human being or any object even right so size doesn't matter what matters your skill your talent right and everybody has that yes ma'am how was the story ma'am very nice okay so we will see one video right it's a small video of thicker and thinner as we have already discussed in the last class children Let's see it. I'm holding the thicker stick, and I'm holding the thinner stick. Hmm. Aisha and Basha know how to identify thicker and thinner objects. Now they want to know if you can do the same. For each correct answer, you get a star. Okay, so now we have to identify thicker and thinner, and we have already discussed, children, what is thicker and what is thinner. You have seen the sticks also. The Pasha was having the thicker one, जो मोटी होती है, है ना? तो मोटी stick ली थी इसने, and the girl was having thinner stick. So let's see what question they are going to ask because we will get this star after giving the correct answer. Which bridge is thicker? So you can see these two bridges. Yes. So which one is thicker? Tell me. I have to click it. Ma'am, जो girl के पास है वो वाला. Yes. So this girl is having this one. So we'll take this and we'll. That's correct. I'm holding the thicker bridge. Wow. So you have given the correct answer. She is having the thicker with brinjal, right? Let's see the next one. Which row is thinner? Click the thinner row. So which one is thinner row? मैम जो पाशा के पास है वेरी गुड सो विल सी दैट्स व्हाई आई एम होल्डिंग द थिनर वेरी गुड लेट्स सी नेक्स्ट व्हिच इज द थिनर पेन क्लिक द थिनर पेन सो थिनर पेन यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई चिल्ड्रन हियर मैम जो गर्ल के पास है मैम इसका नाम क्या है व्हाट इज हर नेम पाशा एंड आई हैव टू सी इट बैक आई थिंक Ma'am Tasha. So you want to go back? Pasha and this boy's boy's name is Pasha. This is Ma'am, and she is also same kind of rhyming name. See, children. That's right. Pasha or Pasha. Okay. You want to see the name? Let me go back. Yes, Ma'am. You want to see? Okay. So we have to play it again then. Okay. Let me try. you know it is coming from the same so yeah back which row which i'm holding the thicker stick and i'm holding the thinner stick hmm. aisha and aisha know how to identify thicker her name is aisha and pasha right okay ma'am Each 
be then here? Here. Yes? Thinner pen. Tell me the thinner pen. Ma'am, Aisha is having thinner pen. That's right. I'm using the thinner pen. Correct, children. Which is the thicker soap? Click the thicker soap. So tell me. Ma'am, Pasha is having thicker soap. Very good. That's correct. I'm holding the thicker soap. So you got the star. Very good. Thank you. We have given out the answer correctly. Very good, children. Okay, now we have a small quiz on this. I think five questions are there. Let's do it fast. Okay. So which of these animals is the biggest? You can see the pictures and identify the biggest animal, children. Ma'am, elephant. A. Shall I take this? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And we have to submit. Very good. Correct. Tick. Right? Let's see the next one. Which of the following statement is true? The red line. You have to see this picture and read the statement. So I'm reading it for you. Now you have to identify which is the correct statement. Okay. The red line is thicker than the black line. So this red line is thicker than the black line. Is it correct? No, ma'am. No, it is thinner. It is not thicker. Very good. The black line is thinner than the red line. So no, is the black? Yes. So this is also not thinner than this. So it is also incorrect. Let's see the C1. The red line is as thick as the black line. As thick as means both are of same thickness, having same thickness. So no, the black line is thicker than the red line. Yes, ma'am. So shall we take this? Yes, ma'am. Yes, submit. Very good. Okay, let's see the third question. Which is the biggest box? You can see the picture here and identify which is the biggest one. Ma'am, the yellow. Ma'am, see. Okay. Let's submit. Very good. The fourth question is, which of the following statement is true? Again, we have two straws, children, red and blue. Watch yes. them carefully. Okay. Then we'll read these statements. And we'll see which one is correct statement, true statement. The blue straw is thicker than the red straw. So this blue straw is thicker than the red straw. Is it it? Isn't it? No, ma'am. Okay. Now, let's see the next. The red straw is as thick as the blue straw. No, ma'am. No. They are of a different size, different thickness. Okay. Yes, ma'am. The red straw is thinner than the blue straw. So no, ma'am. The red straw is thinner. No, ma'am. The blue straw is thinner than the red straw. Yes, ma'am. So blue straw, yes, it is thinner. You can see patli di kriya ko is se. So it is thinner than the red straw. Yes, ma'am. So we will select this and we we'll submit. Very good. Correct answer. Yes, ma'am. Now, fifth and last one is which of these bird, birds is the smallest? Ma'am, B. Sparrow. Very good. Okay. You have given the answer so quickly. Let's see it. Is it correct or not? Yes, ma'am. Yes, so you have got five out of five. Very good. A big clap for you, children. You have done the quiz today. You have done the videos, questions, right? Yes, so, ma'am. Let me come back to you, children. Yes. So, and then, do you have any question? No, ma'am. Okay, so at the end, we'll do Shanti part. Please join your hands. Yes, ma'am.
Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Sai Ram, take care, children. We'll meet in the next video. Sai Ram, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, yeah, Sai Ram.